Hello YouTube, welcome back to the layout. Um, got a different uh, video today, it's going to be a how-to. Um, it's going to be how to set up the NCE USB interface. So you can use it with your computer, as well as set it up to use Y-Throttle. So, <clears throat> what you're going to need to start is obviously you're going to need a computer. And you're going to need the USB interface panel. You're going to need the coiled cable that came with your NCE power cam. You're going to need a USB cable with the square end, similar to what you need for a printer. And for Y throttle, you'll need some sort of smart device. So I'm just going to be using my um, iPad because I'm using my phone to record. So <clears throat> basically, what you're going to want to do is ignore all the instructions except flip to the back for the quick um, quick start because I went through the other instructions and they weren't very helpful so the first thing we're going to do is you need to download the uh, JMRI or Decoder Pro and you can just go to um, JMRI's website and it's right on the home page you just scroll down to find product release and the downloads there. I'll, I'll put the um, links in the description. <clears throat> and then you need to install, you need to download and install the proper USB drivers, which you just, you just Google NCE USB interface driver and you'll get this page. Again, I'll put that um, in the description as well. And then once you have all that downloaded and installed, you can move on to the next step. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention is um, something you're going to need is with your computer, you're going to need uh, Wi-Fi um, and be hooked up to some sort of uh, network. Um, I'm just using the home network that the internet's all set up through and through the router. Um, something I forgot to mention. Um, I know you can probably set it up through if you bought a, uh, uh, a wireless router. And just set up the server through that way but I am using it through the the home network here and then that's what the uh, iPad picks it up on uh, another thing I forgot to mention I just realized was when you're setting up the uh, panel you have there's little things um, jumpers that go here and you have to take them all off for it to work and it won't focus but they just tiny little black things that come on it you just need to take those off all right moving on uh, one other thing you're gonna have to download uh, you have to get Java to run JMRI um, yeah so just make sure you download that and then we can get uh, to the next step all right now that once you have uh, Java the USB driver and JMRI installed um, you're going to want to take your coiled um, cable. You're going to want to plug it into the um, your uh, panel that came with the power cam. Um, so you're just going to want to go ahead and plug it into this guy here on the right side. Okay. Um, thing to mention, um, I've plugged it into this one. This one here is the one that goes to your uh, power cab, but you can also run it, plug it into the back, which looks a little nicer. And then you can run it here, and it says you can um, plug in the uh, USB interface there. So, and it does work. I've tested this already. Okay. So, anyways, you take your UTP, uh, no, UTP, your USB interface. You plug the other end into it. I'm doing this with one hand. Okay. Plugged in all like that. It's not gonna stay. There. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so and then the next step to plug in the USB cable. I've already plugged into my computer so that's plugged in now. 
Right, and then the next step is to go ahead and power up your power cam. So by doing that, I'd just be plugging it into the panel. Cab will come on. I'll send power to this. And then... Okay, so I've just gone ahead and turned the volume. I muted the engine because it's just too loud. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is open uh, Panel Pro, which is what comes with the JMRI. Let's close this preference page. Alright, so this next preference page will pop up. System manufacturer, you're going to want to go ahead and select NCE. System connection, it's the NC USB. Just click on that. The serial port is COM3. And just go ahead and close this. And save. And we'll restart this uh, later. Actually, I think we have to restart it now. Just close it, go back in, so, uh, as long as that doesn't turn red that means it should be good to go. So what's the next thing you're going to want to do is go to tools. down to throttles and you can start Wi-Fi, uh, Y-throttle server. Just open that up. You're going to want to allow access. This is going to pop up. It just says pending. I just want to go to your smart device. You're going to want to download Y throttle, which I've already done so. It's why throttle like because I didn't pay for the good service. And I'm just going to go to the keypad. I'm going to type in my engine loco, which is 32, 32, set, throttle, and should be able to unmute the engine. So if we go back over to the computer, you'll see that it has a device name with an address selected. Um, mine says master because it's the name of the iPad. And then uh, from there you're good to go. Turn the headlight, bell, and Alright, and that, um, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. If you have any questions or wasn't clear on something, feel free to ask. And uh, just keep an eye out for my next video uh, update. Have a good one. Thanks, comment, and subscribe.